What's going on my favorite people? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a few weeks. I've been absent. I do apologize. Right now, the spring bite is firing off. A lot of people are booking charters. March and April are fantastic months to get out in the water. So if you want to do some awesome inshore fishing, the information will be down in the description, saltyscales.com if you don't want to go down there and look. But book us while you can. Anyhow, today's topic of discussion is awesome, top secret techniques on how to catch sheep's head that you probably haven't heard it may not be top secret but it's super effective using some weird little gadgets such as this i'm going to go into detail i'm also going to talk about my terminal and tackle and how i am very productive with sheep's head so stay tuned and we're going to take a closer look let's go so what you need is a nice light spinning uh, outfit right here i have the akuma cedros y'all been seeing a lot of that this is a 4,000. you could even go down to a 3,000 reel has a lot of drag, 33 pounds of drag to be exact. And I'm gonna do a test on this particular reel very soon. This is the SRT Inshore Elite by Akuma. It's just a medium, I believe this is a medium fast. It should be a medium fast. This is a medium heavy rod, um, but a medium fast, medium heavy uh, action is what you're gonna want with a nice light tip. That way you could feel them subtle bites that the sheeps had always do have. Now with the rig, you can do a few different rigs, but one that I like, that is very effective right here a little quarter ounce uh, egg sinker with a swivel and this is like a little 40 pound class swivel and then it ties on to a 20 pound spro fluorocarbon leader and last but not least is the gamagatsu hook i like the nautilus gamagatsu hook and again this is usually going to be like a 10 or 2 out hook especially with the technique that we're going to be showing you here in a minute now the bait is super critical and important. I showed you how to catch them with fillers. I showed you how to catch them with shrimp and oysters, but there's another one that you can, or not, yeah, barnacles, I'm sorry. But today I'm gonna be showing you the oyster. Now, this is a super clever way on how to save money on bait and catch a lot of fish use, reusing the same bait over and over and over. Are you ready? Do you know what it is? comment before comment now let me know if you if you know what i'm talking about if you know you know if you don't you're about to know so this company uh not too long ago reached out to us and asked us to try out their uh their product and it's called rat fishing system by the way this is not a plug of any kind this is just a cool technique that i think would be useful to you and my viewers so that's why i'm showing it to you so what this what is this just looks like fine mesh right so it's essentially what it is but if you look closely it's got a little opening here so that's what that's what we're seeing it's got a little octagonal mesh here I got some high quality Pacific oysters you could get oysters from your local uh, like Publix when Dixie whatever is local to you just call around but this is a great way to save on money on bait sometimes some places are super expensive so make sure you're looking around and trying to find the best deal now let me show you what I do with these. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. That looks like a big old booger or something. Yeah, not very appetizing, at least uh, visually, but the fish love it. All right, so take this out. Go ahead and put this slimy little friend of ours in here. Look at that, Woo! slides right in. You know, we'll save that piece for another day. All right, you take the little plunger thingy here, and now check this out. Come here, Chris. Hold open your mouth. Oh, yeah, boy. All right, so now you take your little baggie, open it up, or insert this into the little opening here. Now check out this. Just squeeze it until it goes into the bag, right? And the best part about it is you could stop it. So for right there, for instance, I got that much in here. And now let me show you how I'm gonna go ahead and hook this with my Gamagatsu hook. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna essentially close this. You don't want your little friend to come out. So you just hook it with that Nautilus hook, just like that. And then what's recommended is you go ahead and pull it around and you hook it through the center here, just like that. Easy is one, two, three. And what that does is 
unlike if you were to put that on your hook without this, the fish aren't going to be able to pull it right off and you're going to be able to catch potentially multiple species or multiple fish before having to re-rig. It's very clever. So guys, I was thinking about baby bird feeding this to Chris like as a dare or if he lost a challenge. What do you think? You think he'll eat that? I think he'd eat it. I'd puke. Hey, so guys, if you want to see this in action, let me know, comment below. Again, I recommend the circle hook. Uh, specifically for this because it helps in my opinion to keep it on um, the hook better but you can also use it with a J hook as you've known in my past videos if you've watched my sheep's head video and if you haven't I'll link them right up here but um, the J hook in my opinion you could get a better hook set but I'm telling you they like these oysters so much that I swear they try to down them and you know it's not like a, a, a crab or some, a crustacean where they're crushing it off and taking it uh, in the bag, it stays on there. So when they grab it, your hookup ratio is a lot better with that circle hook and the Nautilus. Anyhow, be sure to give a thumbs up, comment below. Guys, get ready for a lot of action. And again, if you want to book a trip, do it fast. Uh, SaltyScales.com. Check out the description. All of my charter rates and everything are on there. And uh, you can come fish with me, Chris. Let's go. Till next time, we'll see you on the water.